With the release of Star Trucker today, many are wondering if the game has or will have joystick support or HOTUS support commonly found in similar flight and space games. The bad news is that at the moment, Star Trucker does not natively support anything other than a controller, a mouse, or a keyboard. The good news is that there is a way to add support on PC for nearly any device. You'll also be able to follow these same steps with any other game you would like to add joystick support to. Before you begin, you'll need an application well known to the simulator community for its ability to do exactly this kind of thing called Joy2Key. The website should look something like this. I'll add the link into the description as well if you'd like to grab this. If you already have it, you know how fantastic of a software this is and how mandatory this is if you are somebody who plays a lot of simulators. And like I said, this will also come in handy for future games you'd like to add support to. Once you have Joy2Key installed, you will see this screen. Get rid of this and we'll bring up the actual Joy2Key. This is what the application looks like and it will need to be running whenever you would like to use it. I suggest you turn it off when you are not using it as sometimes it can put in some phantom inputs. Now yours will be blank on this screen. You will see something like this, but it will be blank on the left hand side. What you're going to need to do is you're going to create a new profile and we are going to call this Star Trucker. You're going to call it Star Trucker. I'm going to call it ST because I already have one named Star Trucker. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to options up here. Now, there's a couple of things you need to change, and I'm sorry that I can't make this any bigger. But at the top, it'll tell you how many joysticks are detected. And there's a box that says number of joysticks to configure max 50. You'll want this number to be the same as how many joysticks are connected or more. Next uh, setting you're going to need to change is this stick slash POV setting. It is a drop down menu right here. You want the one at the bottom, show all axes, eight way plus POV times four. You don't have to know what that means, but it will basically allow all of the possible inputs for your joysticks. And the last thing you need to change here is number of buttons to configure max 128. I would just set this to 128. I haven't found a reason not to, and it will save you some headaches later if you're missing some buttons. All right, with that out of the way, I'm using a two joystick setup here. However, this will work with a single joystick setup or it'll work with a HOTUS as well. Frankly, it'll work with pretty much anything that will be recognized by Joy2Key. Now, the way you find out which of these tabs you need to be inputting into is to move one of those sticks. So I am moving my right stick right now and you can see that it is lighting up both the tab at the top and the inputs that I am putting in. If I move my left stick, it is joystick three right here and it is inputting at the top there now if you know where this is going you can skip this next part i'm going to go over my personal inputs my personal buttons that i have set for uh star trucker however if you see where this is going and you think you know how to do this you can skip to the time on the screen right now otherwise let's go over the keystrokes that i have set up myself so we're going to start with the stick inputs and there's a couple of ways to do this depending on how you like the truck to behave but i'm going to give you my inputs here you can always change this later. Now, the way I have this set up is the WASD keys are on this stick right here. Now, what that lets us do is that lets us pitch the nose of the truck ship in whatever direction we would like. So pulling back on the stick should come up as key S. Pushing forward on the stick should be W. Pulling to the left should be the A key and to the right should be the D key. You can change A and D with Q and E if you prefer to have it on roll, but this felt comfortable to me as I played through today. Now we're going to set up the second stick, and again, if you have a throttle or something else, you can do this a little bit differently, but we're going to do this as if this is uh, a two-stick setup. Now forward on this stick is going to be the spacebar. Spacebar is forward on the truck and shift is reverse so backwards on this stick and again we can pull on this just to double check which one is the correct one will be shift now what i had done here is i made my roll the left and right stick so i have this joystick to the left is q and to the right is e if you're playing something like star citizen you may be used to having that on your primary stick uh, just be aware that there is no vertical movement or lateral movement in this game so it may be a little bit different than what you're used to but if you're just setting this up as dual sticks i find this is a good place to start 
Now, those are the basic ship controls, and you can stop there if you would like. Otherwise, let's add camera controls. This is a little more complex, but find a set of buttons, a hat switch, or a secondary stick to control the camera. I'm going to be using a thumbstick on my right joystick, and I will show you how to input this in. It doesn't really change depending on how you are going to control these. The concept is the same. So imagine you have a thumbstick just like you have on a controller. If you don't, because that's how I'm going to be putting this in, this is upwards on that thumbstick. If you have four buttons, maybe that's the top button. If you have a hat switch, it works something like a joystick. So upwards on that secondary thumbstick is going to be mouse movement up. And I find the default speed of 50 is decent. And of course, we do the others. So down is mouse down. Left is mouse left. And right is mouse right. I will also want to add in the scroll wheel so that rather than just moving our camera, we can zoom in and out on our camera as well. So on the same stick, we can see that the zoom in and out. Let's just find these here. Uh, mine is button 32 and 33. 33 is downwards on a scroll wheel. I'm going to have that as zoom out. You can make this a button if you'd like or another type of switch. The only important thing you need to know for this is that we're looking for the wheel rotation thing here. We want to go wheel rotation down here. We're going to go negative 20 is usually a comfortable spot, but you could go negative 15 or negative 10 if that's too fast. And for the other button, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to mouse and we're going to go wheel rotation up at the same rate. As long as these two are the same number, they will feel pretty comfy. You could have it zoom out faster or slower than zooming in if you wanted to. But I find keeping them the same is perfect. Now, you'll need to be able to activate buttons in the truck cab. So if you have a joystick trigger, which I do on the right stick, it is number 31 here. I would add this in as a left click. This helps you look around in the cab and click on actual buttons. So as shown here, I can use my joystick to look around the cab and then I can use my trigger to activate those buttons. I find that to be quite comfortable. Now, the other thing you'll need to do is you'll need to add in a left click. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my left click as the trigger on the other joystick. I'm sorry, right click. I'm going to add my right click as the trigger on the other stick. And that way I can use the radio. So this is probably the only time you're going to right click. When it comes to the radio, you press your regular click to grab the mic and you will need to press your right click to activate the microphone. There's also two buttons that come up depending on uh, your responses to characters in the game. Again, that's a minor thing. If you choose to have your mouse nearby or you want to have your keyboard nearby to handle something like this, that's fine too. But if you have a setup where your keyboard is not handy, you'll definitely want to make sure you have that in. So you're not missing any radio inputs for the story. Now, you're also going to want the tab button bound to something. This is, of course, your map, your jobs list, your convoy, which is the story mode, cargo, which you probably won't use this menu a lot, and your skills, which hopefully you're using a lot as well. Now, it's important to uh, point out that you can, once you've activated this, you can use your camera controls and your right click control to navigate this menu. And you'll be able to press the tab button again to close it. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a button that we're comfortable with having on the map. Here's a thumb button on my right joystick I like to use for this. We're going to identify it. So again, click your button to identify it and then put this in as tab. You're also going to want a pause key as well. So I'm going to use a button that feels comfortable as pause. And we're going to use that. Uh, we're going to bind that as the escape key. That will allow us to pause the game. Um, to change settings and to uh, save the game or if you just need to pause and walk away again very important one to have if your keyboard is not nearby just in case you need to pause the game in some sort of emergency now these are all of the keys that i have bound but if you find any that i missed or would like to change this setup this should give you the background you need to work with joy 2 key and bind new keys as needed change key bindings as needed or you can add new equipment in the future now, of course, this does work for other games using the exact same strategy. But if you have any other games that you'd like to add joystick or wheel support to, this does do the job. Now, there is something to note. Because your joysticks are inputting keyboard keys, they're inputting binary commands. A joystick or throttle or wheel, for that matter, would typically be able to input as a range. So, for example, you'd be able to slightly hold down a throttle or slightly push forward a stick and input 20 or 50 or 80% of that input 
rather than just always 100%. However, with the way we have it set up, it is as if you're using the keyboard. And so pushing further in that direction will not make that input any harder or any farther. Obviously, the best way for that to happen would be for them to add in actual joystick support, which I hope they do in the future. This is a great short term solution, but it definitely would be a fantastic game to play with full joystick support. And I hope they bring that soon. If you have any questions or recommendations for my own setup, Definitely drop it in the comments. I will try to respond to as many as I can, but otherwise I'm Sparks. I play simulators, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe here on YouTube or come find me live on Twitch every day. The link is in the description. Happy trucking.